Hi everyone! I want to do a quick video about wild edibles. This is my front yard and um, I'm in Minnesota and raw mushrooms are popular this time of year. They're hard to find and I've never actually found any uh, until this year. I found some popping up under this, uh, we have a big white pine tree in our front yard here. Uh, some maples and an old apple tree. So I thought I'd show you what they look like. Hopefully it'll focus in here. Um, kind of twist it off here. It's a very unique shape. Um, spongy. And they're not like a mushroom with just the little cap on top where it's like an umbrella. So yeah, hopefully the camera will focus better. There you go and you can see the... It's very unique like I said. Um, but they're really good. They're really a meaty mushroom. You um, rinse them off in cold water and I just saute them up in some butter. I cut them lengthwise. Saute them up a little butter with salt and pepper. And I've got another one over here. Yeah, very unique shape. And if you're looking for them and you're not quite sure, don't ever eat any any mushroom if you're not absolutely sure what it is. Um, you can do a quick Google search or if you have some field guides for like edible, wild edibles, you can look it up and double check. But yeah, we're just under the white pine here. I know they like sandy soil. Uh, and I've noticed that they pop up a couple days after the rain, and we've had a lot of rain lately. And I picked a few the other day too, but right now I only see two. Um, I know they're more common in the spring, when temps at night are about 40, and daytime temps are about 60. And we're having a real cold spring here, where I'm at in Minnesota, and so it must just be the right time for morel mushrooms. Hopefully you can go find some on your own. They're supposed to be, uh, they grow around the woodlands. And I've heard that they grow around like dead elm trees or dead apple trees. Um, so yeah, it's, it's strange to me to find them under our white pine that is not dead. It's very healthy. So if you have any tips, feel free to leave a comment or let me know if you uh, hunt for mushrooms and how that's going for you this year. Thanks for watching.